<laughs> Hello. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today we decided to talk to you about weight loss and confidence. Um, so most of the time I tend to beat myself up um, and I don't feel as confident as I should and I often like beat myself up and say well you should be looking like this already or you know yeah okay your certain body parts are building but your stomach is still lacking you still have body fat in your stomach you need to lose more weight you need to look more like these other female bodybuilders and so um, I wanted to share that with you guys and just let you know well lately I've been able to turn it around and look in the mirror and say yes you know I do want to work on toning my stomach making it a bit more leaner and my legs a bit more leaner but other than that I'm seeing results in the mirror um, my in my clothes on the scale I'm building more muscle I'm seeing a huge difference in my body I have way less cellulite than I did last year I have way more muscle and my body is a lot curvier and I'm really proud of myself and I'm actually able to look in the mirror now and say hey this is not that bad and I've never been able to do that in my life and the more that I'm able to do that and look in the mirror and pick out things I actually like I find that the results are coming so much faster and um, I just wanted to say it's not a coincidence that we're getting results and our confidence in our head is a lot higher and stronger those two things go together so it's kind of like if I could go back in time and tell my really overweight self to just even if you don't feel it, start thinking it and try to change your thoughts into more positive and be more confident and hold your head up. That correlates into physical results and success. Yeah. And um, those two things go together. You can't change. You can't be really confident in your mind and be really sick and unhealthy and unhappy and all that other stuff, right? They go, they're, they're, they go hand in hand. I wish I could go back and tell myself that too. That's a really good point. Um, but often it's really hard to do. It's hard to change when you're so, so used to being negative and saying, well, I need to look like this or yeah, I'm getting results, but it, they're not good enough. It's very hard. Even if I were to go back and tell myself you need to think positively, I probably still wouldn't have done it. It's very hard to do. You have to do it when you're ready. Yeah. And I also then will beat myself up for not, I'll beat myself up for beating myself up. Um, and knowing that if I think positively, the results will come faster. I know that, but I needed to work through that before I got to where I finally can. And I still have the days where I'm a little bit, you know, self-conscious of my stomach. Oh yeah, me um, too. I think we all, we all go through that. Yeah, but I look in the mirror now and I say, wow, it's actually way smaller than it used to be and you know I'm working on it every day I do a little bit of abs every day in the morning well five days a week I should say and um, I'm I'm working on it so and I'm I'm eating I'm dieting during the week and then I have my one treat day on the weekend I'm doing everything that I can in this moment that I'm you know ready to do that I think is good for my body and for my health mentally and physically so I know I'm working hard and I just have to be patient and I am noticing a difference so instead of saying well yeah there you're having a diff you're noticing a difference but it's not yeah it's instead not of saying enough, it's not good enough yeah I'm saying hey you know what I'm working really hard on it these are the areas I want to improve what can I do to improve them instead of beating myself up and oh yeah these areas are coming along nicely I'm really proud of how my shoulders and my biceps and um, my back and all of those muscles are coming along and I am starting to see my leg muscles develop um, 
but my thighs and my stomach, obviously I'm a female, that's where we carry the most fat. That's gonna take the longest and those are the parts that I often beat myself up for them not being as in as good a shape as I would like them to be. But now what I've done is I've said, hey, what do I want to work on? And I just said it, legs and stomach. So I started doing five minutes of abs in the morning after my fasted cardio and I do that five times a week and then I give myself two days off of doing abs, not fasted cardio. And I am noticing my stomach where my extra skin was hanging before, it's starting to not hang as much anymore. So instead of saying, yeah, well, it's not hanging as much, but you still have to get it leaner, I'm saying, hey, really good job, keep going. All of that has turned around and I'm so much happier and more proud of my body than I've ever been. And I know Kyle is, is the same way. Yep. So, you know, just, I hope that you, you learn from us and I know it's really hard, but it's not worth hurting yourself over and having low confidence because if you know you're working hard and you're seeing results, there's no point being hard on yourself because you're doing everything you can. Just be proud of yourself and the more proud and confident you are, the, the more you'll work and the faster your results will come. Yep, and so yeah. uh, we're pumped up and we're gonna go. Ready to work up. <laughs> we're gonna go hit our back in the gym and show you guys that how much fun we have in the gym, how much we like training and you guys can do it too. And I guess we should say we just hit 2,000 subscribers. Oh yes, we did! And we want to thank you guys so much and thanks for all your support. It means a whole bunch to us. Woo! Woo! Thanks guys! We really appreciate it. All your support and all of your comments really inspire us and we just want to thank you. We want to, you know, be here and keep filming without you guys. So. We can't believe how fast we hit that 2000 and let's keep going, keep smashing the likes, the thumbs ups and keep watching and uh, we'll keep working out, we'll keep eating, we'll keep filming for you guys. <laughs> Very important, you gotta stretch. You don't wanna pull a hamstring when you're doing back. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Getting a little warm up action in there. Let's see you make the funny faces now, buddy. Now that we're getting down to business. Come on, dog, you can do it. There you go. It's all fun and games till the weights get real. Oh, come on. Come on, Bubba. See those back muscles working? This exercise really wakes up the lats. Yeah, I had to go light, lighter than my last set. Hey, it's better to feel it. Come on, doggy. Yep.
Thanks for watching. <laughs>